Alrighty, coming into the finals where we have no place being, <laughs> if you ask me. I can keep this. Um, I say we have no place being. Um, also, I say the finals. It's a league, so it's not really the finals, but we are playing for 3-0, which is not nothing. Um, let's go for presumably Temple of Man's on turn one. Keep a forest on top or a green source for this. That's got to go, I'm afraid. Uh, go ahead. Nice. Get this man nice and early into this. Get a pretty solid stream of things going. I guess there's no reason to play the forest there, but we should just play the island or the plains and then play tiger or something. But this isn't bad either. Hup, 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 hup. Hey. So this feels like a game where you get a pretty big villainous wealth off too. Okay, do I get a card? don't which means you lose your dice you cycled your dice i mean i suppose it gained you two life which is nothing but <clears throat> it's pretty close to nothing i can play garrick here and make a wolfie i think that's the way to go I'm playing against blue white control again it seems bang Looks like my next turn is going to consist of playing both this and this, as well as our tap land. Unless, I suppose, we hit another land off the top, in which case I'd rather play that than the tap land. But ideally, we hit a shock land or something up there, so we can still get the utility of it having it come into play tapped, you know what I mean? Because we can't cast a five down next turn, anyways. I mean, we could do this for two, but that's not exactly <laughs> amazing. Kill Garrick. Okay, it's fine. As far as situations go, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, I'm playing the island, I'm afraid. Then I'm playing the prison. Then I'm playing the looter. And then I'm hitting you for four. That's some real good ramp going for this, you know? With the prison and with this. You get a pretty big film as well off. Bear in mind our opponent is very unlikely to be splashing red for this. And they're not splashing blue and it doesn't look for splashing red. So this seems to be a purely three color deck. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, one, two. We can do four for this, but we can do much more next turn, so. Or actually we're just gonna oh don't mind that, I'm sorry about that. Oh god. I'm getting a million message. Ah. Oh, hello. <clears throat> okay, it's not that bad. How big is this? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six has got to be enough, right? Six has got to be. I'm using this window to resolve this. I am sorry. This is the time. Yeah, I'm going to use this window to try and resolve it. I mean, we could animate the colonnade and try to kill um, Harry, but. I think this is a better use of our turn. No force of will. Oh, that's a pretty big whiff, honestly. <laughs> pretty big whiff. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's not how I would have wanted that to go, I'll be honest. Bear in mind now, we can still swords with the prism, which I will probably, uh, I will probably do. Well, there's no actual need to can spawn the colonnade and have swords next turn. It's good to know that we have swords power though. Sure. 
I stole your other model huh? Yeah, it's annoying. Okay. I've dropped some, some description. Okay. You're going to kill me here. What is this? You got it. I'm gonna take him a hit. Ten mana. Time for. I'm gonna use this now. I think. Although he's not, he's pretty limited in what he can do. I'm okay actually. Sure. Oh, pardon me. Turn that off. I don't want to sound like a jerk, but is that all you got? Because if that's all you got, I think that's okay. It's gonna be a bit of a loop, right? <laughs> um, Oh, that's extra. That blows. I just trade for that. I don't hate that. Have that. 
Max Lacoste. That's no joke, you know. Boom. Probably just in here to get out of here. Chump the golem to keep Karn, obviously. I'm gonna have Alice and things then to stabilize. We don't deal with outsiders very well. They say he comes after as well. He had trust issues, not to mention. Oh god, Ulamog's rather good. Hmm. 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 Don't know what I can do about that. I think that might be all she wrote. Because it exiles 10, 20 cards. So if I attack it once, I lose. And it certainly doesn't have me once, so I lose. Well, that took a rough turn. Pretty, pretty sharpish there. Again, they just end coming in, probably while coming out. I think that's the only change. Let's see if we can't reclaim our dignity after that. Um, it's a great hand. Great, great hand. Keep this. Yes, please. Okay. Tomb. No. And Heath gets us something for the boys. Something with white. Yeah. I have a white for I just have the planes. I'm just gonna get the planes, I think. <laughs> uh this feels dumb, but yeah, planes it is. Turn two voice is pretty good, so I'm gonna cast it. I'd love to hit the the red for the elf though, but we have a lot of red sources. We might be we should be okay. I would hope we're okay anyway. Pardon me. Look at that, like a pro. Let me get this as well. It's real nice. Go ahead. Got the beats coming in this game. Six six beats. It's a spell we could hit that we wouldn't really want to cast. Swords isn't amazing. Prism. Hitting Prism off Cascade is really bad, obviously. But a bunch of all basically everything else is good, I think. Yep. Yeah. Oof, yeah. Oh, I'm attack here too. Okay. That would have been a good hit though. Good hit. Ooh, nice. I will take it, good sir. Swords is usually bad when your opponent has a Fiend Hunter on your voice. It's not so bad at all. Coming at you. Oh, ringing our voice. Opponent's very determined to get rid of that voice. Pass 
Is it Republic? Or alternatively, a giant, because you can't even close to. I think I'm going to play Classica. Counting with you. Boom. This isn't a bad one. Of course, the card are also good. This was actually just a fine exchange for me. I got some good cards, obviously, but with Tassigar, that's not that bad at all. Yeah, it's kind of totally fine. Um, what do I want to play here? I probably want to play Corsair. And then, yeah, that's perfect. And then I probably want to use that to play Strix. Yeah. And then just get in with Tasker, I guess. Huh. Coming at you. Wow. I'm actually impressed with how well our massive pile of random cards has worked out. <laughs> I really am. Um, currently no hits for... Oh, no, we'll hit that. I was, about to say, I was about to say no hits for um, Sun Titan. I mean, of course, we can't actually cast it on the ground board. We don't have an extra plane. But no, with this, we can get it down. And, with, you know, maybe we get some lands off this. Uh-oh. Oh, man, it doesn't. Okay. Well, that's not so bad, is it? Um, one, two, one, two, three, four. So I want to, one, two, three, you know, if we play an island, we can play Carry Out Environment School. Seems good to me. And next we'll play Sun Titan, to get back Corsair. Or Thad Idel, or Baleful Strix. All valid targets. All pretty good things to get back as well. Lotus and Cosmic. Twenty one eighteen, what was exceptionally bad? The bird out here that was pretty rough. <laughs> the elephant to the sword's the thing. Friends. Sickening. Boom. We are all over our bottom of this game. He's going to do something pretty spectacular to come back. Now, I say something pretty spectacular, that would have just include just casting Ulamog, but it didn't happen. So we're good to go into game three. Let's run it back. I guess we need to sneeze. Oh no. There's nothing worse than a sneeze that just won't come. Please come on. Oh no, this is the worst. Ah! 
Oh, that was so unsatisfying. Oh, no. I'm so annoyed about that. Yeah. Yeah. How is this? This is fine. A lot of tap lands though, but that's okay. That is okay. Can't even cast this on turn two. I might actually try cast this on turn two so that I can um cast Garrick on turn three. Oh god, okay. Temple, sure. Temple's where to go, I think. Yeah, I want that, I think. What am I doing? I have so many lands in my hand. Why why did I pick that? That was so stupid. <laughs> You got it. Listen, I'm willing to play, to play this game with you. You can go search up all your lands for days. It's fine by me. I'm going to get a tropical island, I think. Yeah. So that lets me do this. Boop. This is Kaskarak on turn three and Tammy on turn four. I don't want to sound too confident, but the whole missing a land drop play for land tax, the worst possible thing to play against in that in that regard is a quick start like ours. Now, we don't hit hard fast, but we do... I mean, Tamiya actually really messes with that plan too. Like, he plays Grimonolith here. We tap it down. Now, we can't actually tap it down because he uses the mana to untap it. He taps in response to untap it. If he plays two top, or if he taps it naturally, then we're good to go. Great. Hitting Garrick. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Because we get Tamio. We slow our opponent down quite a lot. Now we are actually just out of gas though, which is not ideal. Boom. And we're not exactly piling on the pressure. Okay. Kill the wolf. Yeah. Bloodbread Elf. Right off the top, here it comes. Ooh. I think I need this grind more than I need the Conley, honestly. Well, it's not a bad one to draw, actually. I suppose I keep that on top.
Uh -huh, here we go. Okay. Nice. Good draw. Man, this would be so good to have the bring to light, cast bring to light every turn. Or five. But I think you have to bring to light next turn to just stay in the game. One, two, three, four. Cover your bloodbird up, right? Though nature's claim to hit that O ring isn't bad either. Elf hits a bunch of good things as well, though. And this is a pretty aggressive hit, so. Ugh. Ugh, the worst one, yeah. That sucks. Attempt to take it in the hearing? Great. Read that again. Oh god. That's fine. We can all turn next turn if we get a good thing in our hand to cast over and over and over and over again. It just goes back into our library, that's okay. <laughs> No. Go ahead. Now that her outside world to burn. Weird set of games here now. Point of seven cards in our hand, which is a cause for concern, to say the least, but we got a much stronger board state than they do. I think it's fair to say that. Uh -huh. Oh, miracle than all. Oh, I kills Tamio. Oof, that was a friggin' disaster. Oh god. <laughs> Oof, that sucked. Whoa boy. Boy, that's bad. Pardon me. Man oh man was a disaster. Yep. Yep. Wow. Wow. Uh, God, I think we're kind of dead here, honestly. Um, I think, guys, I don't fancy your chances. Oh, we can't even activate this? Are you kidding me? It's, turn, it's only turn 8. Holy crap. Um, it feels like so much later. Um, I guess I try and use the colonnade to block this. Hopefully the opponent doesn't realize. That's a plan, I suppose. That stems the bleeding the most. A 
up on, didn't realise. Good. Or at least appears to not have realised that we need this. Bill. Oh, man, not he realized he saw the line. Oh, that's pretty good. It's certainly a start. Pro blue. Reese on top of monoliths. Yeah, it's all right, it's fine. Ouch. On this board state, milling our opponent for 10 is pretty brutal. And this has Island Walk, which is real nice. Okay. Sure. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I suppose play this and equip this to it. <laughs> Got Defender, but what are you going to do? I mean, it's a 2 5, it blocks the Batter Skull. Well, that's bad. I won't lie, that's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. So what's the pleasure, Shanks? Swamp. Yeah, it's a death, I'm afraid. Um, damn. We almost got there, but thank you all for watching. I had a blast with that deck that I think, honestly, performed a lot better than I thought it would. So, yeah, I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I will see you all next time.